Hello, hello, and welcome back to Leaky Gaming, and welcome back to another episode of Workers and Resources. So, at Republic Mod Monday, today we have workers, greenhouses, and huge prisons. To be prison, singular. Right, so again, disclaimer, there's a lot of beautiful mods, guys, just go and check them out. We have amazing community and you will find something for yourself. Go to the workshops on Steam and uh, under the Workers and Resources Soviet Republic, you will have a lot of mods. I think it's around 40 in the last seven days. This is just eight of them that I find the really the most interesting. Triage Hospital by Novu. An improvised hospital set up inside old aircraft hangar, it can be used to treat large amounts of patients during pandemics and disasters, long term care is not guaranteed, includes parking for up to 30 people and features rapid dispatch, added helicopter connectivity. Right, so we have the emergency hospital in, in, in the last couple of years, we saw a lot of these spring up and mushroom like mushrooms after the rain all over the world because of the situation where we find ourselves in but let's just check it out first so this is aircraft hangar of course it has a capacity of 100 patients uh as we're gonna demonstrate in a second and it's not that cheap i expected it to be a little bit cheaper it does require a lot of materials it's almost twice the price of the normal hospital it's quite um, quite pricey i thought it's gonna be a little bit more affordable so we can find it here here in the mod section of uh, 15 59,000 rubles 5890 and it has capacity 20 workers 30 doctors and 100 patients and of course it has 30 vehicle capacity you don't get the vehicles i bought them ourselves uh, so we can demonstrate how it looks when it's fully populated so anyway mr novu and triage hospital Comrade Joe and Minimalist Panel Rose Rises, a little side project I did to distract myself from current big one. Uh, the mod contains three small residential buildings made of rough concrete panels after randomly uh, seeing a similar construction in outskirts of Novosibirsk, surprisingly dating back to just 2001. Uh, they are an average quality of 72% and should be not too expensive. The single unit house, 12 adults and two stories, 36 and three story 54 right so we have single unit houses we're gonna show you all the uh, all the details here uh, we're gonna go for all three so we have the small one as you can see here we have a medium size one with 54 and the, well actually this is two story high this is three story high so this is a single unit with 12 people capacity uh, this is the big size it's three floor high and we have two floor high so this would be 54 and this one is uh, the smallest one is 36 people right so how does it compare to the vanilla buildings are they actually all in the same pile i don't think they fit in the same um in the same uh section because some of them are over 50 people so uh we're gonna go all the way in the mod section so i can see that they cost three thousand for the smallest one ten thousand for the biggest one nine thousand for medium sized building so if we compare this to something let's go with this small one uh, 3500 compared to small building here uh it's a little bit more affordable but it has way way lower uh, life quality quality of apartments so it's not that um, that expensive it's actually quite realistic uh, as you can see here similar buildings vanilla ones we need vanilla ones uh, let's see if we have 50 51 here we go 10,000 so again this is similar in price and do we have something with uh, 30 here we go 4,000 so yeah these these are not cheap cheap and they're not cheated definitely but if you want to find out about more more about this check out the link in the description of the video big prison by Benko 54 big prison this prison is a big one it has two complexes and a big wall it accommodates 550 355 prisoners and needs 92 employees there are four vehicle stations which uh, are located in in the courtyard and can only be accessed via barrier texture models by Benko 54 uh playground basketball by robs 074 right wow i didn't even notice this so we have basketball courts over here for the inmates we have two big wings and we have a huge thick wall uh, all around the prison complex oh this looks really cool okay okay i like it this is solitary confinement or something no this could be I don't know, it's outside cells, maybe exercise area. I'm not really sure what these are, but I saw this in other models as well. So we have those, and then we have probably canteens and stuff. 
And then this is the central building, probably where all the... Right, I have no idea. Anyway, it looks really, really cool. It has capacity, uh, 92 uh, wardens, and it says here that it's 276 uh, prisoners. Even though the description says that is 355. Mm, interesting, maybe maybe it's some kind of discrepancy, but it's a huge, huge capacity. Anyway, with the crime and justice uh, part of the game being released, it's actually quite interesting to see these. Uh, I quite enjoy it. Anyway, uh, this is my favorite mod this Mod Monday. I hope you guys like it as well. But for more details, you know what? Let's compare it first with... Uh, Price-wise, so we have prison here, and prison is 342,000, that's expensive freaking prison. Okay, uh, compared to vanilla one, if we go to prison system, we have 123 times more expensive, and it has only 50% more capacity. Wow, okay, this is quite, quite pricey, so no, not cheaty at all, so heads up, this is gonna set you back a bit, but definitely worth it. Link in the description of the video. Polish bus stops, bus stations by Robs074, Polish bus stations including two platform for 400 passengers, three platform for 600 and four platform for 800 passengers, both buses and trolley buses can use them. For stops with trolley bus wires, subscribe to the building skin models, uh, listed uh, as a dependency and you have a description in Polish as well. Right, so yes, I installed both of those, so you can see here that when you change the skins, they get the wires, the wires of overhead. The, b basically, I think they're both, they're all trolley bus stations and they act as trolley bus stations, but uh, Rob's remove the wires from the like, from above. I believe they can be used uh, either way, it uh, doesn't matter which skin you use, but you can always change the skin in order to have the trolley bus wires. It's really, really genius idea. I really like it. Uh, right, this is something definitely I was looking for and I'm going to be using in my let's plays, but let's compare how does it compare to vanilla ones. So if we go to our mod section, we're gonna have in the last second we have three different stations one of them is 4400 rubles uh, 8000 rubles and 13000 rubles respectively and the uh, vanilla one bus stops are 500 definitely definitely more expensive than vanilla stations uh, here we go this is comparison comparison how does it look uh, compared uh, these stations, we have bus platforms here as well, which are again, again these are much more expensive. The the Robses ones are much more expensive. It's definitely realistic, not cheaty mode at all. So check out the link in the description of the video. Right, here's an interesting one. Digging Crew by Monotone. This mod adds fully animated manual digging crew for uh, excavation, bulldozing and groundworks. Now you can hang quarry gravel, build roads and lay foundations using pure muscle and sweat. Uh, these workers are 10 times cheaper than the, uh, than the next excavator and they are available from 1850. They must be transported to the site by an open hull vehicle. Features aims more varied models to texture replace the clone, yada yada yada. Right, so you have all of this, uh, all of these details and more in description of the video. This is the one that has to be carried, so they have to be carried on the back of a truck, which is quite quite realistic. But the only thing I'm gonna show you now is them in action when they are parked like this. They are all sitting on the benches and waiting for their, for for work. But how do they work when they are active? So here we go. I just built a small uh, quarry here. You can see that they have, uh, <laughs> they are actively working on the quarry. We can remove the uh, quarry stone so you can see them animated all the time. Really, really cool mod. Uh, definitely something I like and I'm probably going to be using myself as well. So check it out in the link in the description of in the video mo by Monotone. Right, uh, one last thing we forgot to mention. Their price is 500 uh, rubles. And uh, you can buy them since it says here 1900s and the description says 1850s, but it doesn't really matter. You probably have them uh, whenever you want. They don't use fuel, I believe. Uh, they use electricity. It's similar to these models that are not using the road, so they have to be transported. They don't have fuel, so you have to transport them to the site or buy them on the site where they're going to be working. Anyway, more details in the link in the description of the video. 
Dirty Dirk and Soviet Standard Greenhouses. Soviet Standard Greenhouses in two sizes, single and double. There's a during the glorious Soviet era, many citizens with a big heating and power plants, especially in the north, but also common in the south, use such greenhouses uh, in this configuration. Mainly, the waste heat was used to grow plants on a very efficient scale. Cities in the far north and northeast Russia used uh, such a greenhouses as a main food source until today. This is one of the one to one scale replica of the greenhouses used in the city of uh, Kurhatov uh, Kurskaya Oblast which is using district heat from the nuclear power plant the, uh, the same greenhouse uh, was also used in the other sites like uh, Balakovo uh, Saratovska Oblast and Pripyat Ukraine Kiev Oblast uh, important notes the greenhouses will only work if you connect them directly for the heating source do not use heat exchangers just use the heat connections of the building otherwise the heating tank will run out of the hot water and the production will stop until reaching necessary level don't be worried about a rapid twitching indicator needle it's the soviet union <laughs> actually heat supplies could be it uh, could be happening anywhere when water supplies will be available in the game i will update the mod for water need water needs right so we have again more description uh, how do you calculate output uh, the, like reasoning behind the making the greenhouses and and I approve of this. I actually quite enjoy the, the maths on this. I can read a little bit, but I will leave for you to read the details. Uh, how to calculate output? I use the reference of big uh, conventional field, which have output of 330, 300 tons of crops during one season, so uh, 62 tons per hectare. The greenhouse can, be, can operate double uh, the season, so output will double. Uh, per hectare because of the high efficiency with ultimate use of sunlight and uh, lightning greenhouses have 80 percent higher harvest including 20 percent fertilization additional 20 percent will be produced yeah, 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 uh produced 274 tons per hectare calculated overall planting area 2.5 hectares anyway there's an extensive details in how this is calculated and the reasoning i stand behind the reasoning i actually quite like it and something that i was really looking forward in this game so these are two big greenhouses one of them is just big and one of them is mega big it's just absolutely ginormous so they have a road access and they have parking lots in the middle uh, capacity is 200 and 120 ton tons respectively and more or less the what i saw there it's uh, everything is just doubled so requirement for electricity on the big ones is doubled they do take a little bit less scale than if you put two of them next to each other but uh, it, they're, they're perfectly fine i didn't test them yet with a, a heat connector but as you can see here heat connections can be connected to these buildings at the end of the um, uh, greenhouses there they take a little bit more space here for comparison comparison with uh, compared to prison and uh, let's compare it to the big fields as well so big field is i would say they are more or less similar size I wouldn't say that they are twice the size one and a half times the size probably but anyway they are they're quite big but smaller one would be the same the size of the field a little bit narrower and, and a little bit longer but anyway this is something i'm going to be using myself of course they require chemicals which are expensive in the game so heads up on that so if you want to produce something like this uh, or have something like this it's going to cost you in the long run as well how do they cost and can we compare them with i don't know if we can compare them because there's no greenhouses in the game uh we have fields here for five hectares two hectares one and a half hectare and uh, 0.4 hectares over here and uh, i can just mention the price then i pre i think that would be the the most reasonable thing you have 146,000 for the smaller one and 240,000 for the big one so like i said they are quite expensive be careful when you build them that it's going to take a while for you to construct them what are the materials requirement for required for construction you can see here 300 tons of steel wow 100 tons of bricks uh, 156 tons of asphalt this is some high end crap over here i like it i like it i really like this mod i think i'm gonna be using it a lot in my let's play anyway anyway look check it out in the link in the description of the video for more details and let's move on 
Mr. Robs 074 and small monuments, five small uh, monuments to increase loyalty of her citizens 1.5 to 2% with the radius of 150 to 250 meters depending on the monument collisions uh, disabled for easier placement. Yes, finally. Right, so uh, monuments, if you're following my let's plays, you're going to know that we have a lot of problem with loyalty. A lot of it comes with uh, from the developers. They're still implementing loyalty and crime system and this kind of stuff, so it's being changed often and you're gonna have to have a lot of a lot of monuments in your game and i can see here there's a polish monument this is a polish eagle there and we have another one over here and do we have any sickles and hammers we demand sickle and hammer this is a pospolita republica ludova something i forgot my, my bad Anyways, polish people don't kill me uh, right, so we have five monuments here, as you can see. Uh, the only thing I would say, uh, compared to vanilla, uh, they do have, or compared to other monuments, like, we'll check it compared to, to vanilla, but uh, the distance, uh, influence distance of the monuments, it's a little bit on the big side, I have to say. Not the percentage, 1.5%, that's perfectly fine. Um, the, the distance, 150 meters, might be a little bit on the large side compared to other monuments. So, for example, if we go for the... Uh, sickle and hammer, which is so huge, uh, it has the same uh, the same influence uh, radius as the smallest monument here. So I'm not sure if this is how this is uh, calculated and should it be this big or not? Because uh, like a radius, I, I like it. The bigger, the better, and it's not going to stop me from using. For example, this one is one of the smaller monuments we have in the game, and it has a distance of only 65 meters, but it's bigger than uh, I think almost any monument here, more or less than any monument. It's it's volume. Volume wise, is also bigger. But anyway, uh, these are Polish one. Obviously, they have special powers, so uh, I will definitely be using them in my let's plays and especially because we are playing a uh, Polish map now. Uh, Price-wise, how do they compare? If we go to these, you can see that they cost, real quickly, uh, just under 2,000, 2,500, 3,000, 8,000, and the biggest one is 10,000 rubles. So they are uh, pricey. They are pricey uh, compared to vanilla ones. Yes, yes, they're definitely comparable. For example, this one is 10,000. This is bigger than anything uh, that we have that Rob's made here. And yet it's uh, more you know, or less the same price as the big monument over here. So they're not cheaty. They're quite expensive. And you're going to pay dearly for them. So definitely going to see it in my Let's Plays. Zodiac 69 and the Sea World uh, Kartana Kotoro. Okay, I, I, my Russian is bad. Uh, a map with several islands and only one customs office. If you have to move from the island to island in pursuit of resources, because there can be only be one of the resources on the end one of the islands uh, that's it that's the description of the map and i found it interesting i'm not sure if i'm gonna find me playing this but this is quite quite interesting you can see that you have gravel more or less on every island but other than that i think all the resources are spread around the other islands so it would be quite interesting to <laughs> find out how you're gonna combine all of them where you're gonna have your population and how you're gonna link all this we know that ships are not the fastest things in the world so it's really really interesting uh challenge if anybody wants to start, take it uh, challenge being uh, how do you make even something like this work obviously it would start probably with the um, uh, connecting with uh, the island that has customs house to the neighboring country and you can get electricity and other stuff from there but the living space is quite limited so probably you're gonna have to do a lot of digging and gravel shoveling to increase the land space anyway uh, resources are plentiful but that's not the challenge of the map challenge is how do you combine all those resources how do you export them how do you earn money and all that stuff it's it's definitely quite challenging and i think it's interesting map uh I don't know what do you think i think it has some basic features but also it has a good challenge to it um let me know in the comment section okay i'm gonna call this one and say guys i really hope that you enjoyed this one if you did press the like button if you didn't leave a nasty comment in the comment section let me know what you think like subscribe the notification bell ring it comment section hit it and if you want to support the channel you have the description of the video thank you for watching happy monday and i'm gonna see you in the next one bye bye